hey everyone welcome to another interview with another very special person nirmit uh, he's currently pursuing his masters uh, in uci in computer science uh, and i'm very excited about learning from his experience uh, things that are uh, uh, that he has learned tips and tricks uh, from his experience okay but before we deep dive into that uh, uh, you know uh, would love to hear from you nirmit okay uh hi nitin hi everyone who's is watching uh nitin's channel uh my uh, name is nirmit shetty i am pursuing my masters degree in computer science from uc irvine um i did my bachelor's degree as well in computer science i did it uh, in a college called eps university in bangalore india i am a native to bangalore uh so uh, uh I finished my undergraduate in 2018, and post 2018, I worked in Shell again in Bangalore for three years as a software engineer. Uh, so I've been in Bangalore all my life. So the first time I moved out from Bangalore is when I came to the US. So that is 2021 September last year. So, uh, so I moved to uh, I'm staying in Irvine, and uh, I will actually be graduating in December 2022, which is. uh 6 months from now so not too far away wow wow i think the first big change came in directly like the first big move was directly to us so that is exciting uh, uh you know uh, but thank you so much for taking out time today uh, now before we even get into interview one of the things which i generally ask uh, everyone is uh obviously you must have applied to multiple universities and you must have received multiple admits so how did you uh, navigate through finalizing a university what were what was your thought process you know behind choosing uci okay i was a bit selective while applying i did although i did apply to like around 6 to 7 universities i was a bit selective one because i worked for 3 years so i i wanted a really good reason like a, a really good college to go to the us or otherwise i was like why should i leave a job where i'm settled in and right. you know, earning a good salary so uh, so i i i was very selective so i was looking mainly for a prof- uh, programs where the course is more professionally oriented for mm-hmm. people like me who have prior experience uh, i was not really looking forward to research so that mm-hmm. was one of my criteria uh, i actually uh, i applied a little bit so i was a little ambitious while applying so i did apply to some of the top colleges like i applied to uh, like university of waterloo in canada you know and then georgia tech the university uh-huh. of illinois urbana champaign uh, university of wisconsin madison and so these are really uh, pretty super ambitious so i i, I did take a risk so uh, actually i i just got one admit so that was uci okay uh, so one of the reasons is i applied really ambitious and second uh, you know a lot of students did defer their admits in fall 20 right. fall 21 so the right. intake was definitely a lot lower and so the competition was definitely, definitely a lot right. higher yes yeah 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 no i can totally relate to that uh, i mean and that one when and a half year uh, even the universities were you know deferring the admits uh, you know they were saying no to keep the program you know uh, going on so definitely the uh, competition must have been you know uh, tough uh, you know uh, but thank you for sharing that now moving on to our first actual question which is regarding uh, the total expenses right now everyone who is you know watching this video most probably will be worried about okay how much money i am going to spend you know if i pursue masters in uci okay you see okay so if you can split your answer in two parts first is the tuition fees overall tuition fees for the duration of the program and then second is the living expenses that would really help okay sure and uh, i'll also like to clarify that uh, there are two computer science programs at uci there is wow. a master of computer science and there's a master of science in computer science so both are they sound similar there's just probably an <laughs> off expression but the, the, so mine is called the mcs program okay. and the uh, there's a trend, there's another program called the mscs program so that is research wow. so mine is mcs is a professional track so got uh, it so the, the so one of the main differences is uh, mscs it's research oriented and it's like ideal for people who want to go into research or want to continue into phd got it so mine is a terminal program i cannot continue to a phd and so i 
it's generally for people who want to exit to end the industry mm-hmm. so the fee structure is a little different the mcs program is a 15 month course that is so uc avain follows the quarter system so all ucs have their quarter all system that is quarter months. system yeah yes so it's three months is one quarter and uh, so we have to pay tuition fee quarter to quarter so the mcs program is fixed it's uh, i think it will come up to around 55 to 60 us dollars 50k us dollars mm-hmm. so in year and again it would increase year on year a little bit year on year so mm-hmm. but that is my fee but the living expenses would uh, i mean overall it would depend on the kind of lifestyle you are living you could like live a really like a, la- a laid back lifestyle or a really posh lifestyle so but i a good estimate i would say is because irvine is very expensive irvine and irvine is california is expensive irvine is uh, in california it's i would say is as expensive as san jose as well bay area uh, so it would i think 1000 dollars would uh, would be a good minimum expense mm-hmm. and it could go up to 1300 1400 as well per month got it living expense got it wow wow uh, now when you said it is very expensive i was expecting somewhere around 1500 to 2000 okay. uh, so i still feel 1000 is okay uh, you know because i have i have been talking to some of the people from other parts of us uh, and i have been hearing similar numbers actually to my own surprise that okay uh, even in other parts of us there are cities where you end up spending 1000 oh. dollars uh, you know so uh, Uh, so just to summarize about 60 55 to 60 thousand dollars for fees and then you would have uh, about uh, let's say 30 thousand dollars for you know expenses if you just keep some buffer because otherwise it's like okay. a 24000 you keep a little bit buffer 6000 so 30000 i'm counting so about 75 to 80 thousand dollars is what would be the expense and that, that's a good estimate yes uh now uh, uh now following up on the same uh, thread uh, of thought uh, how uh, how are the on campus jobs uh, in uci uh, do you generally get uh, do you generally get on campus jobs like ta ras uh, are they uh, well paid enough to at least you know take care of your living expenses and if so what are some of the tips to get those jobs okay sure so uh, there are so there are uh, i think there are three two types of jobs one is assistantships and one is your uh, normal on campus jobs mm-hmm. so uh, unfortunately the professional program does uh, so one of the drawbacks is you don't have assistantships in the mm-hmm. uh, professional program so that's restricted to the ms programs the mscs programs or the phds so usually preference is given to them and since there are a lot of students the only the leftover positions will be given to the mm-hmm. mcs program but usually there are enough students to take up this position so mm-hmm. so ta and ra positions are ruled out for uh, for the mcs program mm-hmm. but we do have the option of grader uh, so grader is there but uh, grader are very limited and uh, again I'll not a lot of my batchmates in mcs will know that they actually can get grader positions because even i did not know this <laughs> so so you have to actually there is a public portal where everyone applies for positions but i heard that you have to actually email the professors with your resume <laughs> otherwise there's really no there's chance, no chance. okay is Outstanding that portal uh, handshake uh so no handshake is for the normal on campus jobs but uci has its own uh, one of their websites where we, every uh, every student uh, uploads got uh, it with subjects they're interested in what's their gpa so. got it got it understood uh, and uh, uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, the other on campus job like non academic mm-hmm. uh, what are some of the tips to get those uh... okay sure sure so in on campus job again there there are few jobs where it's technical so your work is actually related to maybe computer science like you can join the library the library has a few technical positions where you will be developing a website or something and there are in in the computer science department there are a few positions which again you'll be working technical but these are very limited so not everyone will get Mm-hmm. so a few people can get again you need to apply early so the earliest you apply again for this handshake is mm-hmm. where you apply but there are other non technical jobs like it could be dining it could be like the athletic center or so or the, mm-hmm. these are there are a lot available and Dogs. like there are no restrictions everyone will get it if you try got it got it got it and how much will they be making like roughly let's say if they are working 20 hours a week okay. uh, throughout so, the month 
Okay, so it's fifteen dollars per hour for these on-campus jobs. For grader position, it's seventeen. Mm-hmm. I think for for assistantship, TARA, it's uh, twenty to twenty-two, as uh, around the twenty range. Got so it. I, I think assistantship, you also get fifty percent waiver in your fee, but in not the for fee. the grader. Yes. Got it. Got it. Got it. So even if let's say bare minimum, someone gets uh, a job in let's say student union, you might have a student union in dining commons. they would still make about uh, what 1200 uh, in a month if they work 300 per week uh, at a 15 rate right uh, yes uh, right uh, so about 1200 which would still pay for your living expenses yeah i, I think if you work you i think 15 hours usually you don't, you don't always get 20 hours in a week uh, mm-hmm. it depends on the availability but you, i think you'll easily get 15 hours a week mm-hmm. so in that you can def- Definitely earn close to like six six hundred to one thousand dollars, so mm-hmm. which should cover most at least eighty percent of your living. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, uh, thank you for sharing that. Now, a uh, little bit uh, shifting gears towards the living part. Uh, so, where do generally people live uh, near UCI? Do they live in private communities like non-academic? A lot of times, I have seen that uh, universities have their own. villages like a uh, uh, communities village communities within the university so is that the concept with uci or live they live somewhere if so uh, is it commutable or do you use public transport how is the situation okay uh, so uh, i live off campus but uh, uci does have on campus housing but the catch here is on campus housing uh, there are, there's not a lot of availability so it's mainly reserved for undergrad students mm-hmm. and phd so if you're I, either undergrad or phd you'll definitely get on campus housing and right. uh, it's a little more affordable so you get a like a private room for around 900 800 to 900 dollars which is very good uh, and so it's within a 1 mile radius of campus so that's very good uh, so the others who don't get on campus housing like master students like me we stay off campus uh, so i stay around 2.5 miles from campus mm-hmm. so there's an apartment and the thing is in this apartment like there are a lot of indians so <laughs> almost most of the indians master students live in the same apartment community got it and what is the name and of the community if you it's, it's called park west apartments Okay. 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 So, uh, yeah. So in Irvine, uh, the company called Irvine Company. So this is like a housing, uh, the real estate housing property. So they mm-hmm. own most of the commun housing communities here. So it's like a monopoly. So Got it. they control the rent as well. So that's why <laughs> the rent is usually really high. Uh, there's a you asked about the transport. There's a we have a direct bus mm-hmm. from from like five minutes from our place, which goes directly to our college. So no Got issues it. with transport. Got it, got it. And how safe it is uh, um, traveling during the night using the public okay. transport? Uh, I'm just okay. talking, thinking from the perspective of girls as well, because a lot of parents uh, who whose daughters are coming here, they're concerned. Okay, mm-hmm. how's the safety and all? Okay, yeah. So uh, Irvine is the safest city, one of the safest city in US. I have I, I'll touch wood. I have not seen any incident. Like you can go out like two o'clock in the night. Like <laughs> it's there's really no. <laughs> I know there are a lot of stories I've heard about even Bay Area about homeless people. Like yeah, yeah, for sure, and, we yeah. have a lot of them. <laughs> so there's, uh, like, I have heard a story. I don't know how true it is that in Irvine, like, the police drives out the homeless. So they drive out these people to other places. So there's a place called Santa Ana. Uh, so mm. they, so people are act so such like I guess people are driven out of the city. So it's it's a very safe yeah. city, uh, yeah. all times. Yeah. that is great that is great uh, thank you so much for sharing uh, that again uh, now uh, moving on to the next topic which is curriculum right so how is the curriculum uh, being a professional program I, i i have a little bit high expectations but how is the how is the curriculum in general, general uh, what are those three to four subjects which you know if let's say someone is coming in this fall to uci what will be those three to four subjects that they must take so that it adds value in their resume Mm-hmm. uh if you can share about that okay sure so in the quarter system i like the semester system where i think people take around two courses per semester so quarter system we have to take minimum three courses so mm-hmm. it's a little bit hectic so a quarter before you know it it gets over so i mean if it starts today you'll take another two weeks you'll be writing your final exam so it's it goes really fast 
you should take three courses it goes really fast uh, so i i would generally suggest if students uh, can take like one good course like one hard course like uh, one course which are really interested and the other two if they opt for their courses because doing more than one course which requires a lot of effort is probably not suggested especially mm-hmm. when you're doing job search so it'll be really hectic so if you take like one heavy course and two light course would be ideal uh in saying that in the mcs program uh, we don't have as much flexibility as a normal ms student in the mm-hmm. mscs program like the mscs you can choose courses outside cs as well you can choose entrepreneurship you can choose like uh, management courses but here it's quite limited you have to choose from only computer science and but we I, i personally i feel we still have enough options like you have like five to six courses to choose you have to choose three out of five to six got it so some students might want more but it's a personal preference for me i think that's still enough five to six every quarter is a lot so right uh, so uh, if so how they have to choose courses i would recommend not just going by course title because i would so it also depends on who the professor is so right because a lot of times the same course could be taught by a different professor in different quarters right. and there are like stories where professors are really strict in grading like so you could yeah. put a lot of effort but and you could still end up with a b grade so and that doesn't make doesn't sense, make so, sense yeah. yeah so you you, you are, i best thing would be to talk to your seniors ask about the course ask about the professor and choose because most of the uh, professors would have taught in the previous year so you can go you can understand this i mean take only the ones which make sense like uh, i think in terms of whether helping if if you're going into like a data science machine learning track you can definitely take the a uh, machine learning course deep i have i have i haven't personally taken it but i've got good reviews machine learning and deep learning and mm-hmm. uh, even uh, operating systems i have heard good reviews then uh, computer networks is one thing i took which was quite good algorithms is good if you like theory part mm-hmm. uh, if you're going to a software development type role i don't think the courses you take really matter because in your interview is mostly like dsc so lead course yeah 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 it's mostly lead so, code yeah yes <laughs> so yeah if you are going to machine learning i guess the subjects you take would probably matter but not for a sd role got it got it understood um well that you explained that really well thank you so much for that uh, now moving on to the uh, last part uh, which is about getting internship and you know getting full time job after you graduate so how is the situation in uci now my personal impression is all ucs are top class i mean you go to any uh, california uc yeah uh, definitely top class but how is the situation specifically in ucr wine do you see most of the people getting internships if so where are they getting those internships and how is the situation with full time job search okay uh, so this time uh, internship search was hard it was hard, it was very hard i think not just for because i have been in contact with students from other universities as well so i think the situation was common throughout that uh, this time getting an internship was quite hard Uh, it might be due to the the higher intake students to a lot of students in uh, i did hear that it was very hard during covid but that was because the half the hiring freeze but i do know that there's no hiring freeze when we were applying there were like a lot of job openings like linkedin every day if you open linkedin hundreds of new job openings which get posted every day so uh, there were openings but we were not getting replies from companies we were not call back so mm-hmm. uh, interestingly from september to december uh, like like very few people got any callbacks mm-hmm. most of the callbacks did start so most of the interviews started happening mid february that is this year mm-hmm. a lot of interviews started uh, most of the students got getting offers starting jan end to february so uh, i think up to march uh, i think about 50 students had in- got at least one internship and i think now since we're in may a majority most of the students that i know do have intern- at least one internship Uh, right. which companies i think uh, this all over the us there's really mm-hmm. no restriction uh, i mean all the ma- fang mang or yeah there's <laughs> really no restrictions got it guys limit yeah. uh, got it and how's the how's the scenario with full time jobs uh, uh, you must have talked to your seniors uh, what are some of the experiences that you heard from them okay what i heard from them is they for them internship search was not so hard so it's definitely our batch was an anomaly that first of all the hiring happened late because usually people hear back 
using during november december people usually start having your offers but this time it was delayed uh, no one really knows the reason uh, but for full time what i heard they said it's not as hard as internship so mm-hmm. uh, although that so 20 i i'm in i was in contact with the 20, 2021 graduating batch their batch size was less because they were the covid batch and a lot of students came because of difference but uh, everyone in uci mcs program which i am a part of had multiple job offers uh, and top offers like the metas the amazon salesforce into it so mm-hmm. they had not just one they had multiple offers uh, all all good sal with good really good six figure salary so uh, full i i what i heard is full time is not as bad so hopefully even for our batch full time jobs are with better experience than internship it will be i think it will be and personally i whenever i am coaching anyone um, i always have this one recommendation that uh, if you treat your internship as your full time you would never have to actually search for full time uh, you know and that's something which i have personally implemented and you know experienced uh, because i also got internship in into it and i worked really i tried to do my best and i was able to convert it into full time and i never had to go through the you know uh, the process is pretty tiring full time search so you know i was kind of lucky there uh, uh, but yeah thank you so much for sharing that now moving on to the last question that i have uh, which is let's say someone has decided to come to uh, ucry right in fall 22 what would be your top 3 tips for them okay okay one thing that coming off in my apply for housing early uh, i'm mainly saying because the rent so i told that uh, the rents usually start increasing from august so if you get a house early the rent will be less later on the rent start going exponentially because the demand it's supply and demand so right so one is apply for housing early uh, second would be um, uh, lead code the most common <laughs> it, it, everyone says lead code but it's because it's that important so yeah. do lead code now because you have time i know i wanted to do it i i procrastinated i did not it but it's real like do lead code after coming here you, you really don't get time because it's like you have one assignment here, the next assignment is when the previous one ends. So, uh, it's, so if, for a, if you want to get into software development, so lead code. Third is uh, be ready with your resume before coming. So prepare uh-huh. your resume and now, like have it ready, like don't wait. A lot of people and, and uh, come here and start. Applying. So as soon as you land here, apply. Uh, a lot of people say, uh, I mean, uh, they're not ready. I, I don't know what is, what do you mean by ready? Like this, <laughs> There's no time when you're ready. So you will not be ready until you get, you have an interview tomorrow. You will not start preparing for it. So yeah. definitely apply as soon as possible. I would even suggest apply one month before. So uh, UC system starts late. It starts in September, but mm. most openings start in July end to August. So people are studying in you, other colleges with the semester system are applying one month before you in mm. August. So. So start applying from, it's okay if you're in India, you can still apply. Uh, you It's not that you apply today, you'll get the interview next week. So companies definitely take uh, one or two months for processing your application. So uh, that's why I say apply early. So that's a huge thing. I think the three fourths would be, uh, I think not related to uh, the mm-hmm. technical stuff, but uh, I think remember your purpose, why you came to the US, uh, because you, uh, you, after coming here, you will feel overwhelmed with the job process, the right. courses. You'll probably forget why you wanted to come here in the first place. Like <laughs> all those dreams had in your head. Yeah. So don't forget why you wanted to come and getting a job is not the end of the, I mean, not getting a job is not the end and, and it's not the, it. it's not the destination. So, yeah. So what I would say is remember that, uh, you, uh, it's, you will not get this college life. This is probably your last chance to be a college student unless you do a phd which very few percentage and if you're joining the mcs this is you cannot do a phd as well so this is your last chance to live like a student live that college life so uh yeah when you come just remember that and like live as if it's your last day yeah yeah no definitely i miss my college life a lot whenever there's a you know there's a lot of work in office we're like oh no college days were amazing and when we were in college we used to think Man, when are this assignment is going to finish? You know, I want to just go and work at jobs. So definitely make the most out of the you know college life. Uh, I can second that. 
uh but thank you so much uh, nirmit for all these amazing tips um and patiently answering all these questions uh um i hope this really helps you guys uh, whoever is watching definitely share your favorite tip in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next video